they're my everything. Every memory that I have around a holiday or a special event in my life is because of my parents and my family. And my sister works with me full time and my parents live with me half the year. So we just spend so much time together. And so when I was making recipes that were celebrating these different holidays and these different occasions, it just wouldn't be right. It just wouldn't be the same without them. So this is the first time that I really featured them and incorporated them more in a literary form, like in a book. And this book is just, it's even more special than the first book because it's more personal. I'm a baker, so I don't really do a lot of like story time vlogs where I kind of like talk about what's going on in my life. I usually just do baking tutorials. So this is the first time that I actually got to open up kind of more about special memories in my life or special people in my life. And i um, sorry, I'm getting a little bit emotional, but I dedicated the book to my mom and dad and I surprised them and they just started crying and sending me pictures and that was just such a wonderful moment. Um, they knew that they would be in the book because there's a chapter for Mother's Day recipes, a chapter for Father's Day recipes. Oh my gosh, there's Papa Pete. This, this is photo of one of my dad. favorite photos in the entire book. This I mean, is look, look at this mustache. He's like throwing up pizza dough. It's an epic mustache. He has had that. He looks iconic. Forever. He's had that since I think he said the seventh grade. So I've never seen my dad without this mustache. Uh, that's Papa Pizza. That's his nickname. And that's what he is in my phone. I call him Papa Pizza since I was a little kid. And he's really good at making pizzas. So it was very fitting. But he taught me how to do a pizza flip, a pizza dough flip when I was little. And we didn't have a lot of money growing up. And that's why also food is so special to me is we didn't have a lot of money growing up, so how we express love to each other is we would cook something or bake something for each other, you know, on a special day. Because um, some gifts can get really expensive, but we were always able to afford sugar, flour, and eggs because they're relatively inexpensive. And so you can always whip together a little something and customize it. Uh, I remember one year for my birthday, my mom... I think, I, I think money was really tight that year, but she made me a homemade, really simple cake, and she just piped. It was a really ugly. <laughs> it was made with love, so it's all right. She's not a decorator. She's a great baker, but not, not a decorator. But she just piped an R on it for my birthday. And it was just this cute little monogram, simple, ugly cake. But she made it with love, and she made it from scratch, and it just, it was the best. It, it was the best.